Right. I was always under the impression that the, the, the land trust is basically a way to keep the ambulance chasers from pursuing you because it's too much trouble. Uh, that, and they that, would just yeah. move on to, you know, uh, lower hanging, hanging fruit. fruit. Right. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, as our buddy Jeff Watson says all the time, you know, plaintiff's attorneys are looking for low hanging fruit. And so the more difficult you make it for them to find you and the hoops to jump through, the less likely they are to pursue a lawsuit. So that's what I mean by smokescreen. You make it harder, but the entity, the trust itself does not provide any actual creditor protection by law. It just makes mm -hmm. it harder. Um, but what I what I think of any asset protection, creditor protection I, and people who've heard me speak have heard me say this. I think of it as layers of an onion. So the mm -hmm. first layer should be be a good steward of your property. You know, keep the common areas well lit, keep the ice off the sidewalk, make sure the electrical wiring is not frayed. You know, all the things that make you a good landlord, for instance, fill in the, fill in the swimming pool. <laughs> right. That kind of thing. Keep, reduce your liability by being a good steward of the property. The second layer of the onion is to have the best insurance you can afford because mm -hmm. those those uh, plaintiff's lawyers who like the low hanging fruit, the easiest thing for them to do is go after a good insurance policy and keep you out of it. And your insurance uh, company defends you. And on that vein, not only the best insurance you can afford, but you've got to make sure it's the right type of coverage and the right amount of coverage. So if you've got a vacation rental, you need a different insurance than somebody that's just a landlord on a single family rental. If it's a commercial policy, it's different. If it's a, a rehab, it's different policy. If it's a vacant single family rental, it's a different policy. So you've got to talk to your insurance people and make sure you've got the right type of policy for your situation. You've got an adequate amount of coverage. And then you probably should have an umbrella policy that's cheap to get, but that covers things that your other policy might not cover, e excess coverage kind of policy. So, and then the third layer of the onion becomes entities, trusts, LLCs, things like that. And wow. that it's an, see, I told you, she's just the smartest chick I know. <laughs> <laughs>